In this video tutorial, what I wanted to do is go over about uh, how make how to make a bash function. Uh, you can make a function yourself by just typing function. Uh, you have to spell it right. Function. The function name you want, so my function. And then put a space, curly brace, and then you're inside your function. And you want to end your function with another closing curly brace. But if you don't want to put in a file and you just want to do it from your terminal like I'm doing, that's what you'll have to do is put your curly brace at the end. Uh, in your function, you have the ability to make local variables. So you'll have to type local space, the variable name, and then enter, and then whatever value you want to give it. Uh, I'm going to give mine a string value. And then I'm going to hit enter again, and what I'm going to do is just uh, echo that out. And this, uh, the programming language in Bash is pretty similar to PHP, if you're similar, uh, familiar with that. Um, uh, I think PHP really plays a, a lot on what Bash has done so far, and kind of just extended that, um, just kind of extended that uh, knowledge base. Okay, so now my function is created, so and then I can just call my function. And I just hit tab to auto-complete that, and then it does what my function does. Uh, so you can uh, do more stuff in this, like you can put all of your logic into there, and that, that variable I created is local to that function, so it only exists there, so if I try typing my var here, um, not, yeah, nothing's found. I can try echoing it out, because I didn't put a dollar sign in front of it, so it's probably thought it was command, and it doesn't have anything. It, it'll it create the variable if it's not there and it puts blank there um, but it, it's not there. So it only exists within that function. I can create another one um, by just saying uh, my var uh, and I'll give it some other value and I'll hit enter and then I'll echo it out to the screen so it does that. Now let's see what happens if I call my function again with the because that uses the same variable and see if it gets confused or not. It doesn't. There's a difference between the local variable and the variable I just created. If you want to remove the function, what you have to do is you have to do the unset command. So you have to type unset and you have to specify it's going to be a function and then um, you have to type the name of your function. My function. So now if we try to type my function again, it's not there anymore. We moved it. So that's how you add a function, remove it, and a little bit about local variables and uh, global variables in Bash.